All right, y'all, Venture Brad, and uh, in the mail we got the highly anticipated, or well, I guess not by me, but talked about, raved about, Trivax winch belt. This is a wallet company that you see all over the place. They're super duper hardcore wallets. I don't know. I've never played with one or tried to run it over like the videos, but whatever. Um, yeah. This is the belt I got, but it sucks. There's one major flaw with this that nobody seems to have talked about. Um, but I'm going to first introduce you to my EDC belt, as everyone likes to use that term. Now, first off, I've been wearing this belt for a solid 10 years, closer to 15, if I would hazard a guess. Um, I got it brand new out of a package surplus. From a friend that's passed away since so it's really kind of seminal to me but it's an old u.s military surplus style um i don't know what era it is or whatever else but it was in a bunch of stuff he had built like i said i wore this every day to work to fun to you know i got one nice belt besides this you know i'm venture brad i'm greasy and dirty all the time it's just the way it goes um, but this is the reason why the belt's done. Right there, right where it wears all day, you can see where it's got a little shape, where it wells on the belt, gravity holds it down, and it wears the bottom of it every day. This side phrase, I've shortened it over time a couple of times, re-glued the end, or re-burnt the end, um, so it stays, but... This thing's just getting pretty ragged. So my first thought was, you know what, I'm just going to have a new belt sewn on. And it's like the buckle, it served well, it fit well. I'll just find some of this material, the right width, and some quality stuff, and I'll just have it sewn up and stitched up. Then I really got to looking and stuff, and yeah, you could tell that over the years it had this... You could see down and maybe somewhere some of it's left down like inside there's a little bit of the black left but it was all like cerakoted black powder coated whatever that color was it was only originally it's just all wore off and these dimples weren't in there originally that's from where it wears on the belt you can see where it falls into its notch from where it sits in my in its normal position all day um the other thing to note is look at the difference of those two they were both the size of the bottom one at first. Yeah, that's drastically different there. You can really see how much wore away this lower one is just because the belt sat and pulled on it all day. So the reason why I'm rambling on is to show you what my standard of a belt is. This thing has lasted me that long. It's been well with me. Um, and everything from concealed carry to open carry to... Uh, I've always liked having a belt that if in need, uh, I've never actually had to do it, but you know, if I had to, I could tie myself and repel to it or tie myself to something as a safety strap or whatever. Um, now Travex doesn't market their belt that way, but, um, I always like to have that as an option. So let's bust out the Travex belt here and with the help of a handy dandy foot, I'm trying to tripod with the other hand let's pull this out I found some cactus on the ground cool um this is and yeah we're out on the back porch because it's a rare time of the year in the desert where you can be out here and not die this is a Travex belt made in the USA how cool I was pretty stoked to be able to order a nice uh I think they call this khaki belt uh, to remind me of this, and I just, that's, the, along with the colors I wear a lot, I like to kind of keep in the earth tones, keep blended, it just keeps dirt and everything down, and you just, you, you don't skyline as much when you're out and about, so anyways, made in the USA, always like to support USA, um, yeah, the belt material feels pretty good, it's cool to be in the USA, but honestly, I just showed you a glimpse of it, but this is the deal breaker for me. WTF in the biggest capital shouting letters. Seriously, guys, the end of this belt is held in by the melted over end of the belt. That's what holds it in. 
There's no, like, as soon as that pops out loose, it's... There's nothing holds it in. There's no, there's not enough to be friction there or nothing. As soon as that end, here, let's take it loose here. Let's see if I can't demonstrate to you what I'm talking about. Okay. Now I'm using a handy dandy leg tripod. If we pull this out here, I know, such horrible quality video, and thread it in backwards. Let me do this on camera. Yeah, we're only using a portion of this. So this is the way it was originally. And if you back this thing all the way down to the end, as soon as that frays and that pops through, it's belts brand new and stiff. As soon as the thing wears in, it's just out and loose. It's not if it, you know, I guess if you ran the thing doubled back through itself a little bit, um, and left that tag in fully out, it would work. But in its current configuration, it doesn't. Um, it, it doesn't at all. And I, I can't stand it. I, I don't see how anybody... You can't wear this belt very long at all and not have that be an issue. I really can't see how that's not an issue for people. How that doesn't fray and come loose and fall out. And I know some people will be like, oh, my trailer's is fine. Well, oh, maybe it is for you, but I I can't see, I can't be very confident in, get back, put this back together on camera, I think I got that right, yeah. I couldn't be very confident in that little bit, you know, 180 out, uh, holding the whole thing together. As soon as that goes away then that melts and that comes loose the belt comes apart and the other thing that i'm really kind of bummed about is before they anodize this or whatever they really could have ran it through a tumbler because uh these edges you could strike a ferro rod with they're 90 degrees sharp and i'm already getting like you could see that i don't know if the camera's picking it up already but that whole streak right there that's just me running the belt through it belt through the buckle so that corner there is going to chew the belt up in such a hurry which is going to be a bummer so anyways you guys may like the belt but i'm you know, like i'll tore up just for me threading it through just playing with it on camera here it, this belt the way they made it i'd be surprised if it lasts a year not 10 years like that one has been so, anyways, Venture Brad, I know it's a gripe, and I know you guys are like, eh, but the point of this video is, I guess, uh, even if you're not buying a Trey Vector belt, is just don't go with the hoopla all the time. You got to kind of notice what actually works. Um, you got to use things. You got to think about things. Like I said, Trey Vector has marketed as a safety belt but i always like to have that in mind and i just kind of took for granted looking on pictures that that end was going to be sewn and an extra actually never occurred to me now that they sell the replacement belt bits um so yeah that's how you could do resell replacement belt and not have to have it sewn on so anyways um pay attention to the products you buy think about how you're going to use them think about how they're going to function because yeah that's 40 bucks to just waste so anyways um yeah adventure bread out